Welcome back. The mast has been successfully painted. Not looks not too bad in spite of having to be uh, roller brushed instead of sprayed with a spray gun, but it looks quite good. So next phase of the mast refit is to get the hardware mounted back on it and rewire it. Uh, not necessarily in that, that order. So today I'm going to start, I'll probably start with the hardware. I'll uh, have a look at it and clean it up maybe and uh, start bolting it back on. In other news, the rigger called today and he says that he is ready to put the rigging back on. So the only thing holding me back is it rewiring and putting the hardware back on. I don't expect the hardware to take too long, perhaps one evening. And the wiring probably take a little bit longer. I've got to be careful with it because I'm using the old wiring to pull the new wiring uh, through the conduit inside the mast. Don't want to mess that up. And I am waiting for two new items. I've got the lights, replacement lights for the uh, navigation lights here coming. They're actually coming from China, I think. They're LEDs, but they're the same size, shape. And I've got another bit of electronics that I need to mount on the mast, which I will tell you about in another episode. But for today, we're gonna get busy with the hardware. So I've organized all the hardware that needs to go back on the mast onto the workbench here. And it's not in bad condition. It's, uh, there's a lot of paint on it from previous owners attempting to paint the mast and getting paint underneath it and then running down and so on. There's a little bit of tarnishment, a little bit of algae, uh, a few spider nests, things like that, but nothing serious. And so I have to clean it up. Now, being the lover of tedious work, I thought to myself, I wonder if there's an easy way to clean that. And fortunately for me, there is. Let me introduce you to the Sonic Cleaner. This is the ultrasonic cleaner. One of the club members uh, had this sitting around his shop and never used it, so he has donated it to the club here. And the principle behind the thing is that it uses uh, high frequency sound waves to vibrate dirt off of whatever you put in the thing. So come and have a look, the ultrasonic LC30H, whatever that means, by Elma. And it's basically a small tub. And the way it works is you put cleaning solvent or in this case, I've got some ultrasonic cleaner to put in there uh, and water. You mix the two together, put your parts in there, turn it on. This is actually a heating element, so you can heat the water up nice and hot. And this is a timer to time the thing. And I've used this before. I have a friend who has an ultrasonic cleaner. They actually work remarkably well. So let's get it happening. First ingredient, water. Second ingredient, ultrasonic cleaner. Let's do a very accurate <clears throat> measurement here, shall we? It looks like about 10% meat. me. We put our bits and pieces in the water. You'll notice how carefully I am not getting it in contact with my skin. It's important.
lid on. Ultrasonic cleaner on. Heating element on. So we will let that thing cook away. I put all the small bits in there. I will put the bigger bits in there after the small bits have been cleaned. And in the meantime, I'll give this some other trouble I can get myself into. This is my winch. It is the piece that I cleaned in the ultrasonic cleaner previously. There's loads of videos online of people taking their winches apart and using some kind of solvent, wiping the grease out, regreasing them and putting them back together again. But I don't think this winch has seen service in probably a decade or more. I would like to have taken the base off of the winch off the mast and cleaned it too. The bronze has got a nice green patina on it, but it has slotted screws in it. And on these two here, you can't see it on the camera, but I put my biggest screwdriver in there and a wrench on it to turn it out. And they just started spinning out. And I thought, well, I could leave it there or I can drill them out. And I haven't had a whole lot of success in drilling out these stainless steel screws. So I thought, well, I'll just leave it. The, uh, I don't know what you call this piece, but the, the, the shaft of the winch is actually in fairly good condition. I cleaned it up with um, some cloth and some solvent, but the rest of it, the bearing has been, has been cleaned in the, in the sonic cleaner and the, all the other parts have been cleaned in there and they've come out absolutely brilliantly clean. Here's a little close up for you. The winch I think was probably painted or coated with something at some once upon a time. Black, don't know. But it came out nice and clean. The this goes in the top of the winch. Sits down that way, your winch handle goes in there. Um, and it was covered in black crud and slime and it came out very nice. These poles go in those slots against the strings, the washer, the bearing. See how nice and clean that is. And a screw to hold the whole thing together. So I'm going to attempt to reassemble that. That'll be the first piece going back on the mast today. So yesterday I showed you the ultrasonic cleaner. It's been working all night and I'm about to pull the stuff out of it, see how it works. I'm gonna have a look. Um, white craft is old paint, so the ultrasonic action has loosened it up so that it just brushes off real sweet. Now this block I put in there, it was covered in algae and gunk, and uh, I thought I'd take a chance to see what happens, but well, I see the body of the block is uh, aluminum, and it actually took the anodizing or whatever off of it. That's interesting. I don't know if that's important or not. It's a Schaefer block. It's clean. 